Hey guys, my name is Ashimar and welcome to the final series, Poison Concoction Leveling Series. So before I start, I wanted to give a big big thank you to all of you guys. Over the past few days my channel grew over 800 subs and it's really amazing and it's been an amazing journey. I'll make sure to keep posting more guides, you're gonna be seeing uh, some cool videos, some cool builds over the course of the league. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build them on a budget. I did the same thing last league and I'm not going to stop. And just wanted to pop in, say special thanks to all of you who've subscribed and who've been watching my videos. Like really guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to all of you. This means the world to me. And before I head out, to continue with the video, I wanted to say that I'm going to be streaming on Twitch and you can find the link to that in the description. So pop in, I'm gonna be league starting my build, my poisonous concoction, my baby, and we're gonna have a blast doing heists, leveling and stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to the video. We start Act 10 by going onto the cathedral rooftop. Once you're here, enter the cathedral apex and save Bannon. Then go back to the cathedral rooftop, walk through this area until you get to the ravaged square. Walk towards the northeast part of the map until you get to the waypoint. From here, walk east-south and enter the torched quartz. Then look for the desecrated chambers. This is another great area to catch up on XP, so if you're slacking behind, make sure to kill more mobs than you usually would. Do so until you reach the Sanctum of Innocence. Kill Avarius the Reassembled and pick up the Staff of Purity. Then go back to town. Give the Staff to Bannon and he will be reborn as Innocence. Now you want to head back to the Ravaged Square and look for the controlled blocks. In this area search for Vilenta's Arena and kill her to receive an additional skill point. Go back to town and collect your rewards. Then waypoint back to the Ravage Square. And enter the Ossuary. Here you will find Elixir of Allure, so make sure to grab it. Then look for another Trial of Ascendancy. Once you're done, go to the NPCs and then head straight to the Aspirants Plaza and complete the third Labyrinth Trial. You want to do this now and not after defeating Kitava, because after you do so, you will be penalized with another negative 30 resistance. Once you're done, pick these two ascendancy points. We're almost there now. Go back to town, and from here, waypoint to the Ravage Square. You will see Innocence standing nearby. Talk to him, and he will destroy Kitava's horns, and let you go through. Enter the canals, and then go to the next area. Reach Kitava's arena and kill him off. And that's it. You are now blessed by a total of negative 60 resistances. Head to Orayath and complete the epilogue. I am not gonna spoil any of it, so you do it on yourself. Instead, I'll talk about what's next. When you're finally in your hideout, start doing maps. Your next leveling goals are shown in Path of Building. Just go through the atlas, completing maps one by one. Your next item objectives will also be listed in Path of Building. As for the minimaxed version, I am not quite ready to talk about it yet, because I am personally unsure which one is better, either it's with frenzy charges stacking or just general tanky one. So that's it guys, thank you all so much for watching this series, it's been a pleasure making it and looking through all the feedback and all the comments that you've been leaving me. Once again, my name is Ashimar, thank you guys for watching, see you all 
in the next video.